Hi guys, this is Kalora Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a K3 TOG TBL, or a knit three together through the back loop. And I have this swatch here. It shows um, these little noops in these little petal shapes. And to close up that noop, I just take the three stitches above it and I knit those together through the back loop. And that just closes up the fabric around the noop. And you can see this one little loop here that leans to the left is the actual knit three together through the back loop. And then I've also placed two yarn overs on either side of that stitch so that my stitch count does not change. So I do a yarn over and then my knit three together through the back loop and then another yarn over. So my three stitches maintain their three stitches in my stitch count. And you'll see what I mean when I show you here. I've worked up to the point in this little swatch where I have my three stitches above that noop and I'm just going to knit those together through the back loop. But again, we don't want to change our stitch count because these will be knitted together um, and there'll be just one stitch on our needle. So I'm going to yarn over before this stitch and then I'll yarn over after it. So this is how you do the knit three together through the back loop. We're going to take our right hand needle I'll just rotate my work so you can see this a little bit better. We're going to insert that from right to left, purl wise, through all three stitches on our left hand needle, just like so. And then you'll yarn over your needle and pull through those three stitches, just like that. And again, that just gives a left lean in our work, which is why you see that top loop leaning to the left. So that's our knit three together through the back loop. And again, I did a yarn over to begin with, and then I did that stitch, and then I'll do one more yarn over to bring my stitch count back up to three. And then you'll just continue on in your work for your pattern. But I'll stop here and let you guys take a look at how that looks on the needle. So again, we have that yarn over, and then the knit three together through the back loop, and then a yarn over. So that is how you create a K3 TOG TBL or a knit three together through the back loop. I hope this technique and video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.